couple months away from the holiday season and it's in the 80s, Kevin? Yeah, it's still feeling like summer. Mother Nature has it all backwards right now. We didn't have much of a summer, but we certainly have had a very warm start to fall and today, no exception. Now, if you've been outside the past couple of hours, you know things are starting to change. I looked up because clouds are rolling in across the area and a few of those clouds are actually yielding a few very light, spotty sprinkles. That's about as bad as it's going to get. Let me show you. We've got a couple of sprinkles out here to the west of Lebanon on 42, just north of Mason between Lebanon and Springboro. Very light, nothing steady, nothing heavy, not even enough to really even wet the pavement. And then south of the airport, southwest of Burlington, down the Ohio River towards Rising Sun, and then back towards Enterprise and BB, there are one or two very small spits at some rain as well. You can see over my shoulder here as we come back into Mount Auburn, you can see how skies are clouding up. So yes, it's threatening rain, but don't expect much out there. In fact, it actually looks like a pretty nice evening. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s at seven o'clock and only fall back into the middle and upper 60s by the time you join us for News 5 at 11. This is what I mean by warm. Look at today's high, 84 degrees. We're talking about some 13 degrees warmer than normal for this time of the year. And look at our lows too. We should be in the 40s at night. This morning we were only in the 50s and tomorrow morning you will start in the low 60s. So it's still quite mild outside. However, you can see the impacts of some of those clouds rolling in. Sea temperatures have fallen back into the 70s across parts of southeast Indiana. Everyone else still in the 80s. Aberdeen, you're in the sun. Georgetown, you're in the sun with 80s. Batavia, Alexandria. So still quite warm across half of the area, especially the southeast side of town. It's 79 in Hyde Park versus 74 over around Harrison. Lows tonight only going to drop back into the mid 60s. Again, keep in your mind, we should be in the upper 40s for lows tonight, 60 to 65 across most of the area and tomorrow still going to be mild, but with more clouds and a better shot at rain across the area. Afternoon highs will be stuck in the mid to upper 70s versus the low to mid 80s. So here's what's happening tonight. High pressure is still in charge of our weather. However, this cold front is easing its way in our direction. And tomorrow, this storm center down around Oklahoma City will help push a larger batch of showers in our direction. You can see it's quiet overnight tonight. Tomorrow starts off dry, but notice as we work our way into Thursday, a better shot at showers. Even tomorrow, though, I don't think everyone sees rain, and this won't be terribly heavy. This gets out of here tomorrow evening. It's dry Thursday night, and it's dry as we head into a very warm weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. High is going to remain in the mid 80s. Let me give you your hour by hour this evening. Temperatures slip from the 70s through the evening hours into the 60s. Here's your shot at rain late morning, mid afternoon tomorrow with highs in the mid 70s and then we dry out tomorrow night. So right now at the airport, we're holding at a warm 80 degrees at the moment and it looks like in terms of your forecast for the weekend, the Bengals bills. Warm dry weather for football too at Paul Brown Stadium. Temperatures will be in the 80s, so this warm October weather is going to continue. We'll drop to 63 tonight as it stays dry, and then for tomorrow, rain arrives 75 for your high. Here's your day planner 65 as you walk out the door, up to 73 by lunchtime, and then mid 70s by afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. It stays unseasonably warm into early next week. Finally, maybe by this time next week, we'll be talking about more fall like temperatures. All right.